So we have to, you know, we have to, we have to develop responsible citizenship in the Muslim community. And we, we cannot, I mean, respect for scholars is not the same as, oh, the shaykh is here. And you start shriveling up when the shaykh, he's a person. <laughs> you respect this person and you respect their credentials and you respect their knowledge and you respect that they're older than you. All of that's great, but this whole shrivel up business, you need to calm down. When the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would be sitting in a gathering, people walked in, they wouldn't know which one's the Messenger. It became a problem. People would walk up to like Zubayr and Umar radiallahu anhu or you know, Abu Bakr, Ya Rasulullah, he's like, oh, excuse me, no, 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 it's over there. <laughs> you know, that would happen. But now, when, the, when these people walk into the room sometimes, you can tell who's who. Because they've got like four people behind them in half ruku'ah. <laughs> well, what is that? Where did that come from? When did this happen? That is not the sign of a healthy society. If Umar bin al-Khattab can be questioned publicly, that means there's a transparency between scholarship and the community. That transparency is not disrespect. It is not disrespect. If angels can question Allah, are you gonna put someone who's gonna spill blood on the earth? Angels are questioning Allah. And that's, we know they don't disobey Allah. We know they don't dis disrespect Allah. We know that already. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم So how is it like disrespectful for you to just come and ask questions? Ask tough questions. Ask those questions. And we have to put our ulama to that test. We do. And there are great, great scholars and talent among our community. They really are. But they're underutilized. 